Whether you're hosting a webinar or broadcasting live, sharing your screen is a great way to add visually engaging content. It's great for tutorials and internal team training, presenting images, slides, and more. Here's how screen sharing works in Riverside. I've logged into my Riverside account, and let's go to the studio to start recording. Choose your camera, microphone, and speaker output, whether or not you're using headphones, and then click Join Studio. Now here I am in the Riverside studio. You'll see I have a second web browser window open here, both with Riverside.fm, the website, and a Google Slides presentation that I can use both in the screen sharing tool. When I'm ready to share my screen, I'll click Share here at the bottom, and then click Screen. A new window will pop up, giving you the option to share either an individual tab of your web browser, share an entire window, or share your entire computer screen. If you have a secondary display connected, you can actually share that secondary display and do product demos, announcements, or tutorials on a full screen of your computer. When you're done sharing your screen, click Stop at the bottom. Every time you screen share, you actually get a separate individual track recorded in Riverside, and you can download all of those in your dashboard. Let's start a new recording and do several screen shares. I'll click record here at the bottom. We'll get our countdown. And once it hits zero, we're now recording in high quality video and audio locally to each computer. That's the Riverside difference. And those files will be uploaded in high quality so we can download them later. Now let's share an entire window of our web browser. I'll go back down to share, click screen. And this time I'll choose window and choose the second Chrome window that I have open. And now you can see I'm sharing the entire window here in Chrome. This is great for showing off a website or any other application, but we can also present slides and things like Google Slides. I'm gonna stop this screen share, go over to the Google Slides presentation, and I'm gonna go into slideshow mode here in Google Slides. It might go full screen, but we can exit that by clicking the escape button. And now that we have our slides full screen, I'm gonna go back to the share button, click screen, and this time I'm gonna choose an individual tab, namely our Google Slides tab, and if you wanna show video or other audio content within a web browser or other application, you can also share the audio by toggling this on here. Let's click share. And now I'm sharing the Google Slides presentation full screen. You don't see any part of the web browser right here in Riverside. I can advance slides and that will be reflected here in the Riverside recording and if I'm broadcasting live. I'll click the stop button to stop screen sharing. And let's stop this recording and I'll show you what those individual files look like. Once you click stop, you'll see all those files are uploaded, both the high quality video and audio files for you and remote guests and your screen shares. And when you're ready, you can click view recordings. Back here on the studio page, you'll see the recording we just created. And if we go in, we can preview it. We see our transcript and scroll down and you'll see high quality video and audio files, both for me, any remote guests, and every screen share can be downloaded individually. But the real magic happens when you jump into the Riverside editor by creating a new edit here. The Riverside editor will actually put together all the screen shares and your video in picture in picture when you're sharing, and you'll be full screen whenever you're not sharing your screen, making editing super fast. I can add a background image, add my logo, add animated captions to the entire clip, and I can export a finished video file from right here in up to 4K quality in just a few moments. And that's how to use our screen share tool in Riverside. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to our team or leave comments on our YouTube channel, and we answer those personally. If you want to learn more about our entire editor and how we can make editing your video podcast, webinar, or other content super fast, you can check out this video right up here. And if you want to learn more about enhancing your setup, maybe upgrading your microphone, camera, and more, check out this video right up here. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tutorials and feature announcements as they come out. And thank you for watching. We can't wait to see what you create.